Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some Fire Emblem Host of the Dark, which is a Fire Emblem hack that we've played, I think four parts, I think this is part five. Um, I know I haven't done this in a bit, but I really wanna get back to this. Um, I really wanna do hacks at least like once a week, uh, maybe more. Uh, obviously we started Fire Emblem 7 recently and we've been, uh, we're on part four, I think of that. So making good progress. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> I was I was aware of this. I'm gonna have to try to remember what the hell is going on in this game. This is quite the, the thing to come back to. Um, so last time, so the, the first part of the game, we took control of this guy who is like the Demon King. And then now in the second part of the game, the Demon King man is attacking the non-demon people and I guess they're attacking these two people. That, that's what I remember. <laughs> so, welcome back, my lord. Have they been captured as planned? Uh, somewhat. We've captured Max with little effort. However, Mick has uh, seemingly fled. I take all the blame. In my haste to suppress that blasted rebellion, I didn't account for such a thing happening. I should have had reserves to give chase. You've no need to apologize, Ilya. And these are the Demon Kings like generals, I think. Uh, all were too quick to mobilize our forces for such a weak army. Serator, your report uh, on the small band of lordlings that rose from the east. As predicted, they are currently heading north. <clears throat> they seem to be heading toward our island, breaking through all of our forces made up of mostly phantoms easily. Ha. They want to face us, do they? Then I welcome the challenge. Oh, I hope they don't uh, expect those phantoms to reflect all of our army. They will be scattered and captured before the next moon. If I'm lucky, some may uh, be strong enough to face me in battle. Let's just hope I don't get carried away and kill them in an unfavorable way. Lord, if I may. Go ahead, Serator, you needn't ask. What of Kristoff and Hendrik? Um, surely haven't forgotten their alliance with the enemy. Not to worry, they fight for what they see is right. They will not betray us. Uh, we will leave them... We will leave them go. Okay. Uh, after the planned meeting, they will continue their trailing of that group. If you wish, my lord. Now that I have important matters to attend to, I trust that this fort is safe and uh, in capable hands. You can leave it to us. We are your most capable soldiers. Uh, to let this fort fall would be a shame on our names, even with our reduced army size. Very well. One more thing. Remain at the at the door to this fort. You may only join the main force if you can reach an enemy. Sh Wait, you can only you can only join the main force if you can reach an enemy should any appear. If you can reach. An enemy should any appear. If you can reach an enemy, should any appear. I, I, I think I've lost my mind. I couldn't read that at all. Uh, allow our prisoner any opportunity to escape. I think don't allow our... Okay. As you wish, um, Lord Solom. Hmm? Hello, Max. Finally decided to speak, have you? Solom, listen to me. You can make things right. We can still... Ha! Still holding on to your pointless sentimentality? Don't make me laugh. This is my real face, Max. Someone is tactful as you must um, comprehend at least that, right? I never took you as someone so foolish. Come on, Solom, we're friends. Why else would you uh, spend so much time with Mick and I as children? You get nothing from that. You have to still, you have to still have some humanity in you. Humanity, have you forgotten? I am a demon, the demon king even. Yet you have the audacity to compare me to humans? Ha! Don't you know, I start quite weak on resurrection. I needed a way to grow stronger. What better way than making friends with aspiring mercenaries? <laughs> Wait, that's why he was a mercenary? <laughs> Seems like there were better and safer ways to gain power, but okay. Solom, I am Sol, no one else, Max. You will not be able to get in the way again. You will remain a prisoner. Now goodbye, I have things to attend to, you see. Wait, there's a green knight out there. What's that guy doing? That guy's just chilling. Oh, it's a dude, apparently. Dang it, Commander. Why'd you have to let these dastards catch you like that? Now what am I gonna do? Ah. Your position is unusual. What's your squad number, soldier? Huh? This soldier must think I'm with his army. Maybe if I... Ah, what am I thinking? Well, for now, I can just... Is there something wrong, soldier? Uh, nothing. I just, uh, I sort of... Uh, I understand. You must be one of the new recruits, right? Forgotten your squad number. Uh, yeah, that's right. Don't worry about it, soldier. We all make some mistakes. <laughs> this soldier is very understanding. <laughs> uh, just stay around, all right? I got your back if anybody asks questions. Oh, wow, this guy's very, uh, this guy's a bro. Uh, thank you. 
The name's Takami, or no, T Tamaki. Just your average soldier, nothing special. I'm Aval, I suppose I'm much the same. Well then, Aval, just between you and me, I don't really feel much of an alliance. <laughs> just, this guy is not only helping a dude who he doesn't know for like no reason, but he's also just outright like calling out the demon king. <laughs> this guy he just met. Huh? Then why do you fight for him? Uh, I just want peace uh, as any person does. I see. Well, I gotta go to work. Uh, ready your lance, friend. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what? That guy's wild. Sal, I must insist that you at least take a break. You've hardly slept since we met with this these demons. Come on, let's sit down for a minute at least. Seriously, everybody needs their rest. You are no different. How can I rest when there's so much work to be done? When the moment arises, I'll rest. For now, there's no time. Hold, just look over that hill. What the? It's an enemy fort. We'll have to walk around it. Wait a moment. Didn't you send that thief girl to scout ahead? Yeah, that's right. She must have uh, seen this place then. The real question is if she'll be able to make it back. I'm right here. Huh? How'd you sneak up on us like that? <laughs> like that. I have my ways. Anyways, I've got something urgent to say. That's right. This this person's a healer, I remember. They're very useful. The demons appear to have taken a prisoner. A prisoner? From what I could see, it was a blonde archer. He was dressed nicely. A nice hat, too, might I add. <laughs> but that's... Well, we don't know if it's him, Shijita. Who knows? Who else could it be? Do you know the prisoner? There's no mistaking it. That prisoner must be Max. You mean you're... Yes, my brother. We have to do something about this. There must be a way we can save him. The soldiers there have to be powerful. I also saw the Demon King's generals guarding the cell. I hate to say this, but then we have to. If you're not gonna, if you're not going, then we will. What? But Sajita, you'll be dead for sure. There's a chance. As long as there's a chance, I have to try. I completely agree. We can't just avoid this, no matter how strong the enemy is. All right. You mean you'll? Yes, we will aid you in rescuing Max. We have to be careful though. One wrong step and we're dead. I swear the trouble I have to go through for strong allies. Sal, thank you, truly. Why is Sal always looking at the ground? Put them in the ground. We've been playing uh, Fire Emblem 7, and uh, and there's this weird thing, I think because you're the tactician, where Lynn and other... I think Lynn is the only character that does it, but she looks like directly at the camera. It's very unnerving. Okay, so these, these enemies might be a little over my head. <laughs> um... I don't know what they expect me to do here, but uh, killing these enemies is probably not a good strategy. This person's a great knight? Uh, I would not have, uh, given that sprite, I would not have predicted her to be a great knight, but you know. Each their own. Then we have Max, who, whose stats also do not compare to these individuals. Um, so there is nothing over there. There's a door over here. Oh, keep hitting the B button. Sacred Stones is, the way the menus work in Sacred Stones is like slightly different than uh, Fire Emblem 7 and Fire Emblem 6. That's not a big deal. I just, you know, figured I'd mention it. <laughs> okay, so there's two chests over here. <clears throat> a chest here. These guys do move. Oh my God. I wonder if this is like the, um, what do you call it? Oh, there's a chest over there too. The, uh, the Nasala chapter from Path of Radiance where we have to like, lure out Nasala and then kill the boss. Okay, so I gotta remember our team. Let's go over our team really quick. So yeah, Sal's our, our Lord. He is really strong offensively, but obviously 22 health and four defenses. Leaves much to be desired, let's just say that. Subaru is probably my favorite unit at the moment. I like his stats. He's a good class. Yeah, I'm a big fan of him. Um, and I think his growths are pretty good too. How do you go growths? I think it's select. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Regholm I haven't done much with. He's fine. Uh, Bardia seems okay. She's a little frail, but 32 HP is pretty good. And obviously her strength and, and speed are pretty solid. Uh, Fidem, I think is pretty weak. Uh, Sajita I like. I like Sajita in the first part too. She seems good. Uh, how did I pronounce this? I think Team Morin. Um, he's pretty good. Oh no, that's right. The 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 creator uh, commented actually in my last part. Apparently, uh, T. Morin um, does not identify as a gender, so I didn't know that. But I will do my best to refer to them as they. Uh, they are pretty good, actually. I really like this unit. Um, I'm, I definitely have tried to pr uh, to train uh, this individual. <laughs> it's it's difficult for me because I've never uh, I've never referred to anybody in real life as that, but I'll, I'll do my best. 
Um, but yeah, they're pretty good. I definitely want to use them. Um, then we have Adam, who is very like glass cannon -y. as you can see, is one defense growth. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they can be useful for sure. Um, and then intro, who I was trying to get to level 10, but she didn't quite get there. <clears throat> um, so hopefully in this chapter, we can get her to level 10 and maybe promote her. Uh, Tatiana, who is our healer, or one of two healers now. It's a good thing that we have healers. That's definitely changed things. Um, Serenity seems pretty good. She's pretty solid growth. She's a good class. And then, of course, Luna, who is... I think she's actually supposed to be literally just Selena from Sacred Stones, which is kind of odd. But, you know, she's a healer, a Trebador, so can't go wrong there. With Hammerin, apparently, which is kind of cool. So we definitely want to bring her. Who do we not want to bring? I think maybe Regholm. I want for them because I want to lockpick. I mean, intro might suck. Like this, this is the like the Fire Emblem, you know, like efficiency brain in me who's like, man, do not bring recruits. But I like recruits, you know. I'm gonna forgo Regholm for the time being and bring Luna. Although this may not be a good idea. I don't know like how much intro is gonna be able to do. How strong are the enemies at this stage? strong oh my god that guy's 13 strength jesus christ um okay items do i have oh can i do the armory we have a lot of random swords okay i have a new that for you you already have a sword reaver i don't think i need do i want a halberd there are some yeah you can take a halberd there are some uh there is some cavalry out here probably don't need the dragon axe actually take the sword reaver and then take the uh Oh, why do I have two iron axes? I thought I had a hand axe. Um, how burned you? Yeah. Uh, Barry, is there anything cool for you, maybe? What is a blood blade? A heavy blade that drains HP. I also have the light brain, light, the light brain, the light brand, but she already has a swift edge. Take a blood blade, I guess. Team Moran, what do you want? Another resonance? Sajita seems fine. You seem fine. Do I have any promotion items? That's actually also important. I have a goddess icon. I don't know who wants that. I have a member card. I also have a bunch of... So I actually have really good money. And then I do have a master seal. See, I really... I could not tell you if it's if it's useful to early promote. I know a thing came up when we did the first part of the game that said, like, early promote is useful. But... Actually, can you use the horse slayer? Yeah, maybe take the horse slayer. But I don't know if, like, we should early promote now. But we'll play it by ear. Uh, if things look really bad, we can always try to early promote later. Okay, you're still a healer, which is great. Yeah, just take an iron sword. Can I buy, like, heal staves? I can. Okay. So I so we pretty much have access to, like, all the bare bone stuff we could possibly want. And then I think I have, like, a javelin you can have. And a wing pierce. So that doesn't seem very useful. Maybe an axe layer. Axe Reaver. Okay, I think we're good on preps. Okay, the question is how the fuck do we, cry? Do we rescue Max? I don't know. I think going over to the left here to get these chests and then we can kind of head up and get this chest might be the way to go. But, oh, oh, okay, you can break. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, so you can break these. Um, okay, that's probably how we rescue Max then. I'm assuming somebody can talk to him. Well, I don't know. Maybe I just have to open the door. Okay, I'm going to head to the left for starters, I think. So Subaru, Fidem. What's the range on this guy? It's a female uh, hero, or at least that's what it looks like. It's kind of cool. Um, Cause there's nothing over here, right? No, there's just a pillar. All right, let's do it. If things go wrong, this isn't, you know, oh, like last time, I guess I should explain for anyone. Well, people probably watched the last one, but this is like a soft Iron Man. So if you lose characters, I probably won't reset unless I think they're like really important. Cause I do want to beat the game. Um, uh, and then if we lose our Lord, obviously at this point, because we're actually, we've actually started to like train a lot of units. I probably will reset if we lose really important units. Like if Subaru dies, cause I think, I, I don't know, but this game on hard mode in the end, I might like really need these characters. So, but yeah, we do reset. Uh, if you watch the channel, obviously most of what I do is Iron Man's, but a small fort on the outskirts of Lord Viscom's territory. Once used as a battlefield, it has laid dormant for many years, only for it to be used once more. The Demon King's generals are powerful opponents. Opponents that are not able, they're not, you are not ready to face. Be mindful of their attack range and stay out of it. Don't worry about that. So one of the things is like, in the end, we'll probably have to fight these units and you can see they're like capped everything, which means again, like 
losing our really powerful units is probably not a good strategy to beat the game. Like like I said, I, I kind of want to do this as an Iron Man, but I also want to like actually finish the game. So. Um, you have a Horse Slayer, or an Axe Reaver, right? Is this not on fast? Oh, it is. Oh. She just went like so slow. That's pretty good. Okay, only like the one unit can get to me. Okay, I think we'll do that. Whack this guy pretty hard. Oh yeah, also for anyone who doesn't remember or hasn't watched the other parts, I'm pretty sure all the music that they use is like from other video games. It's all very cool, uh, but yeah, just be aware of that. Okay, we'll get Timor on a kill here. Or Timorin, I don't know. Okay, very nice. Do you get, is this guy pretty fast? 13 speed, actually not that fast. Yeah, Serenity is actually pretty fast herself. <clears throat> do you want to fight this guy? I don't know how you're going to do 4 speed. I would double. I have 7 defense. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, I actually don't look too bad at all. <clears throat> okay, let's all move over here. I'm a little bit afraid that people are going to move up and push her, but yeah, intro, if you want to fight this guy, <clears throat> that would be fine with me. I think Serenity's okay where she is. This guy can get to her and this guy. I'm gonna have Subaru move over here just so that Timor can't also get attacked by this guy. And then maybe I'll have her move up just so he can't get attacked, or they can't get attacked at all. Um, I think, yeah, opening the door this turn is probably not a good idea. I'll probably just move everybody together. I don't know why everybody moves so slowly. I have it on fast speed. Uh, if you wanna like hang around, yeah, you actually don't have to move too much. Just hang around intro because I might have you heal her. Okay. Oh, I don't have auto tent end on apparently. This is really loud by the way. I need to turn this down I think for my purposes. This guy's crit against Tatiana. I will say uh, I've, I've mentioned how amazing the custom animation in this game is and it very much is. The Tatiana animation is a little funky. <laughs> a little weird. Um, I also didn't realize that- Oh! So, we, should we reset for Serenity dying? Alright, I saved. Alright. I, I, again, I don't- I don't know how important it is to keep people like Serenity alive. That was obviously really stupid on my part. But I did save, I think, so we should be good. I figure it's the first turn, so what the hell. I did all the preps, right? Yeah, 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 okay. Alright, I gotta play better. That was really dumb of me. Oops. It's just like, man, nobody can take two hits from these enemies. It's really tough. How much defense does Subaru have? 11? So we're looking at... Yeah, it's, it's rough. It's rough out here. I wonder if I... Man, yeah, I'm not sure how to do this any better. I mean, well, not putting her in two people's range is probably better. I guess I could kill this guy. But that's just going to leave more people in more enemy ranges. Huh. I could have Tatiana be the one to go in here. Or I could have Subaru. Subaru again has 11 defense. So that's 14. 11 defense is probably fine to survive. Yeah. Let's do Subaru instead. I think everything else was fine. I think using Subaru instead is the way to go. We already read that. All right, let's not fail this time. Uh, that looks pretty good, and I can heal you of things if you do get hit. It's not a kill for Team Morin, but you know it is what it is. I actually don't mind giving a lot of effort to Subaru. I think getting one unit to be really, really powerful this early, or this this mid—I I don't know where we are in the game to be honest—is probably a really useful strategy. All right, we'll do the same thing we did last time with her. If he wants to attack her, that's perfectly fine. Can you take like all three hits? 17. Um, I get one defense from the forest, right? So that's why so I do have 11. Okay, so 6 plus 13 is 19 plus 7 is like 26. Yeah, so he can take all three hits if, if it comes to that. If worse comes to worse. Yeah, actually, if you want to attack Serenity like that, that would be fine. Move you up. 
it's tough. You got to be really careful. This game, I, I think I mentioned this before, but this game reminds me a lot of Shadow Dragon. And if you ever played Shadow Dragon, one of the things about that game is that um, the <clears throat> the enemies are all really strong, and it's really hard to get high defense. Like you have to play that game basically like every unit can take one ish hit, and then attack back for some decent damage. Eventually you get to the point where you can like reclass and stuff and you can make your units really, really powerful. Um, like uh, the Pegasus Knights can be really good and then you have, um, what are their names? Wolf, Wolf and Sedgar who are really powerful. Oh, sick crit. Oh my God, that crit looked amazing. Um, but yeah, in, in the beginning especially, nobody has the defense to actually like take any hits. Just be really careful. Perhaps Subaru can be our uh, wolf and Sedgur, who knows? One can only hope. Wow, I deal five damage. Get him intra. Hopefully it's a good experience. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, the, I think the, the creator also mentioned that um, the way experience works in this game is kind of unique. And we've kind of noticed that, like... I think things are scaled quite a bit more. Like lower level enemies give you very little experience. Obviously in Fire Emblem, always lower level enemies give you, oh my God. Ah, this looks like a nice place to practice my dancing. Soft grass beneath, grass beneath. what the fuck? This guy just showed it. It's a battlefield, bro. Why are you here? Soft grass beneath, beneath my feet and brilliant sunlight. Away from all that fighting, away from all that fighting. Now this is how to practice dance. Gah, what am I doing? I should be trying to save Max, not my own hide. All right, I gotta find a way to save him. I'm sorry to, to Mackie, uh, but this is what I must do. Oh, did he just become? Oh, that was not a good idea, Vale. Um, well, he can talk to, to, to Mackie. Uh, fuck, that's not, I mean, is there any way he could survive? <laughs> oh shit. Uh, okay, this guy also showed up. Mirror, who has a general shield, raises def <laughs> It's so weird. It says raises defense by 10, but instead of the number 10, it's spelled out 10. That's so bizarre. Like, nothing else does that. <laughs> that looks so weird. Uh, okay, can we talk to him? Who knows? I guess I'll try with my lord. Yeah, it looks like he can. What up, dancer man? Oh, hello there. May I interest you in one of my dances? Dancing, it's dangerous here. This place is full of the Demon King soldiers. Get to safety. Soldiers. And here I thought I was being clever dancing around an old fort. What? You didn't see? Is this guy blind? Well, I suppose there's nothing else to do but to send these guys packing. You can fight? I wouldn't call it that. I'm primarily focused on using my dance. Uh, it can revitalize the real hard hitters. I see. We can use those skills right now. We're currently... Well, let's just say we can use uh, the extra manpower. Oh, I understand. Not lots of folks uh, who can fight are around right now. This Demon King sure is problematic. I'm actually relieved I'm able to help. I see. Well, I look forward to working with you. Likewise. All right. Well, <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> that, guy, uh, that guy just joined us. Um, okay. So it seems like this person has a special dance and can dance. Oh, we can look at his growths, I guess. Yeah, that seems about average for a dancer. <laughs> um... I really don't know what to do with Avail here. I could talk to Tama Tamaki, T Tameki, I don't know. Um, maybe I can recruit him too, but I'd have to like go here, otherwise I'm not on a forest tile. What do his gross look like? One res, we love that. Yeah, I actually look pretty good. I'd really like to keep him alive, but I just don't. How much defense do you have? 16 is pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you. Maybe I could go here and get away with it. Gonna be tough though. That guy deals 26. What does this guy have? A hammer? Yeah, of course. Yikers. I really want to know what this conversation's like, but I just can't imagine I would survive. I do have 26 health. This guy having so much attack. I mean, I, I can't go down here. It's just not gonna work. The, the hammer. Well, I guess he can't get to me, huh? I guess I could go down there. Then I wouldn't talk to Tamaki until like next turn. How much speed do I have? Seven, that's not bad. Can I kill this guy? I can. That's very enticing. That is very I really want to see this conversation, but I think this is probably the way to go. Nice. Okay. We can maybe send someone. Doesn't... I think somebody we have has physic right now. I think. Because that way, like... These guys are pretty weak. They're not going to be able to deal very much. Yeah, these guys actually can't deal any damage to me. 
We should be good. Yeah, I think he's okay now. Do you have physic, right? No. Do you have physic? Oh, nobody has. Never mind. <laughs> I'm just out of my fucking gourd. This guy is absolutely terrifying, but the nice thing is that we have pretty strong offensive units. Uh, God, this is very complicated. Let's kill this guy, so let's go... <clears throat> Actually, maybe I shouldn't, because I really I want to move everybody this turn. Let's open this door. That much I think we should do. Oh, it opens two. Okay, you can get to me. That's okay. How much speed does Subaru have? 14, so I don't get doubled. That's the important bit. 27, yeah, I should be fine. Let's kill this guy before I progress. Sure, that sounds fine to me. That's right, I, I keep- I always forget that there's Kanto in this game. Obviously, well, th there is, like, slight Kanto, but there's not this kind of Kanto in any of the GBA games, so it's very unique to see, uh, a Bow Knight Kantoing after, uh, after they've attacked, for sure. Give me just one second here. Oh, we're good. Um, okay, so yeah, I want you to go here. Should be good. And then you can get to but them, but that should be okay. You can get to all my people, but that's also okay. Maybe I should just do this. I mean I could. It's not like the end of the world. It's just annoying. I guess some units should be over here anyways, right? Because of a veil. So maybe that's not the worst. Can you help me out, maybe? I don't want you to kill him, though. I want Intra to do it. Okay, let's heal Intra. With Luna. Probably turn on, turn on for animations. She looks kind of interesting. That's right, you also have, uh, Kanto. Uh, well, she's our first healer. Oh, also, well, look, we can see the Dancer dance once, and then I'll probably turn that off. It probably just looks the same as the other dancers. Uh, for them, Avail. Okay. So then you whack this guy. Wait. Oh, actually, this isn't gonna work. Oh, I can do the Horse Slayer. Uh, yeah. Yeah, whatever. The problem is I have to hit twice, which means even if I dance for her, we're gonna have to use the Horse Slayer, but that's only an 85 hit. This might not be the best idea. Get a Strength, or a Skill, maybe. Okay, I'll take that. We take those. Are you in danger if you go there? Nah, not really. Oh my god, that's right. Very pink. My goodness. Pink, a uh, pink, uh, pink everything. All right. Very interesting sprite. Now let's turn that off. I don't know why sales on two. Um. Okay. Well, I just hope you hit. I guess it's up to eighty-eight. I feel pretty good about an eighty-eight. Yeah, we're good. We're chilling. We are chilling. Maybe I'll have. Maybe I'll split the army a little bit. I just. I hate splitting the army. Like, it is always a, a terrible idea. If you want one tip for playing Fire Emblem effectively, never split your army. Unless the game explicitly forces you to, do not split your army. Oh, see that's weird. So the game, even with Tatiana's animation on, it automatically makes her heal, like, map only. But then for some reason with... Lune, it wasn't. That's interesting. So, oh my god, you don't have very good defense. Maybe I'll do Baria. Yeah, maybe we'll do this. I think I feel a little bit better about that. Okay. Hopefully we're good. I'd love to keep the knight alive. Having a unit with actual defense is, like, pretty amazing. And he still has, like, a 30% uh, speed growth. He reminds me a little bit of Oswin. And we love Oswin, so... He's getting really good experience, too. I wonder if the... Yeah, these guys shouldn't deal any damage, yeah. Literally dealing no damage. <laughs> they do double me, though, so you can't argue with that. Can't argue with results. I'm curious if uh, if his friend, uh, Tamaki, or whatever his name is, um, will be moving. Wow, doesn't Fidem have, like, 16 speed? I'm a little surprised he didn't double. I mean, I know those guys are fast, obviously, but... This is the classic, uh, knight scenario. Everyone doubles me, but they deal zero damage, and... 
Zero times two, you know, remains zero, obviously. This is kind of unfortunate because I really wanted to get the hero to come attack me so I could kill, kill him on my turn, but I don't think he's gonna move now. This should be okay. I mean, I would be shocked if I got doubled here. I have like 10 speed. This soldier, by the way, looks kind of cool. He's got like gold and like purple armor. I actually just finished a playthrough of uh, Baldur's Gate with uh, with a, uh, some friends of mine, and uh, I had my armor was like gold and red. Reminded me of that a little bit. It was pretty cool. You can like dye your armor in that game. It's pretty great. Two crit. We don't love two crit, but we don't get doubled, so it's not the end of the world. So what if we talk to? No, I probably want to just keep backing up. I really want to heal this turn. It's a little sketchy to put Luna out there, though. But he has a Vulnery. I mean, I could just Vulnery exactly where I am. I really don't like the two crit that this guy's... Yeah, I guess if I just Vulnery right here... I can probably just switch to the Steel, right? Yeah. Steel, by the way, seems to have really good hit in this game. Oh, this is Sacred Stones. Yeah, I think we should be good. This guy can only deal, like, six damage. And then Tamaki's, uh, uh, what do you call it? Crit is not exactly desirable, but, you know, can't do anything about it now. I'm curious if there's reinforcements in this chapter. Okay, so if I kill that guy, two calves can get to me. I don't love that, I'll admit. Well, you have Kanto, so maybe you can just kill this guy. Nice. We love Sujita. Big fan. Big Sujita fans around here. Okay. So this guy can still get to me, but that's okay. God, the movement of these guys. It's actually just normal calf movement. <laughs> it's just so much. I'd love to kill this guy. You can Sword Reaver him for starters. Good level for Subaru. Okay, okay. I mean, <laughs> we're gonna get res. What is your res growth? 30? Oh my god, it's pretty high actually. Alright, stay there. You can't get to here. Yeah, that's important. So, we'll have. I guess you don't have range. You have a javelin. You have the sword, the swift sword. Yeah, that works. Arya's offense is no joke. Especially with the swift edge, because you get like five speed with it. I like Parya too, I wouldn't mind uh, using her. Okay. And you just have a, a steel axe, okay. That's fine. Yeah, do that. I like Team Warren's like a uh, color sprite, it's very cool. Man, you know, for having good growths. He is, uh, they have, uh, struggled with the, uh, on the level up department. Maybe I won't wind up using them. Okay, so you can't get to me. I could have somebody, nah, that, then I'm in double range. It's probably not the way to go. Okay, you heal here. And then, yeah, Sal should come over here because he actually has really good offense, so he could potentially help me with this individual. Now, what do we want to do over here? I want to stay out of range, but I want the healer to be in range of being able to do something. So maybe go like there. That should work. Oh, I probably should have like actually healed Intra as opposed to just done nothing. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, how much do you have? Seven. One, two. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. All right. Don't heal her this turn, I guess. <clears throat> should be okay. And then I don't think I want to do anything with you guys. Because even though I want to put somebody in that guy's range, it's pretty dangerous. You can reach those two. You'll probably just attack Sajita, that's okay. Yeah. Oh, trade him. Wait, oh, I didn't heal you. 20. You can survive a hit, though. Trade him off of the... That would be really bad, I think, if you had that equipped. Okay, that should be fine. I'm glad I did that, because that could have been kind of dangerous. Okay, these guys will just kill themselves, basically. Maybe next turn we could talk to, uh, to, to Maki. To Muki? I, I, we'll figure out in a minute. Nice, no, sick. I like defense. I also like luck. That's a good level up. For our current situation, we also got speed. 
which is always amazing. Yeah, Vale seems like a beast. I do like him, and he's already good level too, which is always uh, beneficial. <clears throat> yeah, it's gonna hurt, but I shouldn't get doubled here unless something really crazy happens. Okay, <laughs> we dealt a tiny bit of damage in response. Yeah, this is also gonna hurt, but Sujita won't take. Oh well, not if she dodges, then it doesn't hurt at all. In fact, it feels quite good. Uh, you can do four damage. That's yeah, not that bad. Nice. And I don't get. To, I didn't actually check if I got doubled or not, but I have eight speed, so I would have been a little surprised had I gotten doubled. I'm really curious what happens with uh, Tamaki here. Look, if I knew that I would recruit him, I would just go talk to him right now. But I don't know that that's the case. And I'm a little bit worried that we'll just sit there and stare at each other. I think I'll probably just back up with a veil and heal. I want to just make it so that if Tamaki really does uh, attack me, then I'll have the, the highest chance of being able to like kill him on my turn. Okay, I think that's all I want to do with these guys. Yeah, that should be good. <clears throat> we need to kill this guy. All right, Cell, what can you do? You're usually like pretty strong offensively. That's good damage. We can start there. Nice. This light magic all seems to hit really hard. Oops. Uh, oh, you can move up, I guess. I want to go into the convoy. The Blood Blade. Um, we should also make sure we can kill this guy, obviously. I don't think I need to use Killer. We can get uh, Team Morin another kill. I still think they can be good. I, I'm still I'm still on that... Uh, I'm still coping. <laughs> Alright, do this, then that guy can come attack you, which is fine. What's, like, the better one? Which one should I be using? Morning Light is E? Okay, then I should probably be using Morning Light. I mean, they're still doubling all these calves, like, I don't know. He still has like, or they still have like 10 speed. Uh... Okay, I'll just get a Serenity a kill here. I don't love Serenity just because her like defense is really low and I really don't like that. Also, I just witnessed that level up and I didn't like that either. Um, but her bases are really strong, so who knows? Maybe she'll end up being really good. Let me heal you. Also, promoting a, a, a monk like Timorin is not a terrible idea because we can potentially get them to be able to heal too. And this definitely feels like the kind of game where everybody's injured all the time, which means healers are at a premium. And not just one or two healers, but as many as you can get your hands on. This is actually a problem. Um, currently in our Fire Emblem 7 playthrough, I just lost uh, Priscilla. It was our first death, and um, that can be really bad, because that's a game where, you know, we still have Sarah alive, obviously, but you really want two healers in particular. Now, eventually you get to Pent, but there's certain chapters, like the boat chapter, for example, where two healers is pretty crucial. Obviously, I don't know what this game is going to look like. It's hard for me to say that, you know, it's hard for me to say any unique things for this game, because I just have not experienced the whole thing, but, uh, okay, this should be good. Good miss. Well, actually, <laughs> fine miss, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Get another level for a veil. I think he's level 11 now. Dope. Another point. Oh my god, this avail's busted. I say this avail like I know how he normally is, but yeah, he seems really strong. Moving light. Don't double that guy, but that's okay. His mages are moving up. Oh, there's no more crits. But he only got two luck, I think. Wasn't it three crits? Is there, like... Does somebody have, like, charm here? Or there's no skills. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Let's talk to him. What do you got going on, bud? Hey, Tamaki. What is it, Avail? Lost your nerve? What, you, you throwing spears at me, motherfucker? Actually, it's... Listen, Tamaki. It's hard to explain. You're with the enemy, right? But how did you... <laughs> you keep... Motherfucker! You keep throwing spears at me! Of course you know I'm with the enemy. I realized that as soon as I called out uh, for you to return to your station, when you decided to actually stand with us, I was a bit relieved. 
Relieved. I don't know, perhaps I just didn't want to kill more than I had to. Tamaki. I understand that this side isn't your place. I'm not angry. Just leave here so I won't have to kill you. It doesn't have to be like this. What do you mean? We are enemies now. This is how it must be. You said you felt an uh, allegiance to your king, right? To join me. Or wait, no allegiance? I'm not sure what he said. That way, we uh, won't have to kill each other. Avail. You may be okay with a demon among your ranks, but your comrades will not be. Oh, this guy's a demon. Nonsense. Our commander cares not for uh, where you come from. He values tactics above all else. He values tactics above all else. With your skills, Tameki, we can break our commander out. Ha. Uh, you sure are convincing, Avail. Very well, I'll join you. Thank you, truly. All right. Well, we got Tama Tamaki. Tamaki? I don't know. Um... His growths look pretty weak, but his bases look pretty good. It's hard to argue with those bases. It's interesting, I always forget that in the hacks they actually have soldiers that you can recruit. Obviously in the GBA games there's never a, uh, never a recruitable soldier. I remember in, um, uh, what's, The Last Promise, which is the only hack that I've, like, played the whole way through. Um, there's a, there's two soldiers I think you can get. And when I was younger I definitely used the soldiers. Because I was very excited that there were actual soldiers that you could recruit. So... This guy's a body ring. Wait, oh, I should have checked. Does anybody have anything cool? I mean, these guys obviously have cool things, but we can't fuck with them. Um, I do want to steal that body ring if we can. At the very least, to sell it. Should have checked before the chapter started, obviously. Okay, no. Nothing, nothing that cool. So, okay, that's really good. You have 22 attack, you have 21. So that's, oh god, 11 minus, yeah, yeah, he, so he should be good as long as I heal him. Okay. Wait, what is this? I just noticed this. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I don't know. It's something for sure. Uh, okay, let's kill this guy. Serenity, I think, actually does have good res. Her uh, defense kind of stinks, but her res is, I think, actually pretty good. Yeah, it's 10. So you can't kill her, no, and you... Oh, actually, I could go one back, or I could go one forward. Here, let's do this, because that way he has to attack somebody with two range. Oh, I can support you. Oh, Subaru, hello. What do you need? I haven't seen you around here before. Who are you? Really? Am I that unnoticeable? I'm Serenity. Serenity, I'll remember that. <laughs> Whoa, wait, wait. What is it? Did you need something, Serenity? That's all? You just ask my name and then leave? That's quite unusual, you know. I apologize if I caught you off guard. I merely wish to know the name of all my fellow soldiers. Why is that? W why is that? It seems like a pretty normal thing. I'm afraid I don't follow. Is simply wanting to know uh, not a worthy pursuit in and of itself? Well, I suppose so. If that's all, then I should be off. Very well. What a strange person. What a strange person! Bro, he asked you your name! <laughs> what do you mean, Serenity? I think Serenity might be the str Oh, shit, I just missed the support. Uh, we could support, but I think I'll open this chest. Killer Axe, okay, cool. Very cool. Pour up, pour him out. Um... Can start moving with Tamaki. I mean, I guess you guys can clear out the right side. I do eventually want to clear this out because I want to get this chest. So yeah, this isn't. I guess I guess this crew is gonna be my right side crew. I normally I I don't really trust our units, but I do trust uh, Avail. I think Avail is really strong, so I think we can actually do this. Despite the crew that I have over here being uh pretty, pretty questionable. Also, yeah, if we can get her to level 10, that would be amazing. I don't know if that's going to be a possibility. Okay. Yeah, we have to be really careful, obviously, of these guys. Well, this guy doesn't move. Oh, he probably doesn't... Uh, that actually makes sense. He probably doesn't move because... Um, the AI would like want to use physic, so he'd probably be like wandering around using physic. And I think I think the creator probably understands that if once the units start to move, you can get into like basically unwinnable situations, especially if he's moving around constantly using physic. So that makes a lot of sense. The 
Like, it's just chilling. Okay, um... How do you look fighting me? Oh, God. Pretty good, actually. Alright, well, if we're serious about this whole intro thing, then we're gonna have to do this. We're gonna have to find her kills. Now, as for over here... Oh, you have a Zambato? Okay. I guess we can play this slow. If there's no reinforcements, we can do this really slow. Another Master Seal. I was actually, I was literally just thinking, I was like, man, it'd be cool if we had another Master Seal. Okay. Again, I have no clue if early promoting is the way to go, but we do have two Master Seals now, so we can certainly consider those. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Obviously, like, unless it's a Fog of War chapter, we can always see how the what the chapters look like. So if a chapter looks like, man, I really need like a veil to be promoted for this or something, we can always take that approach then. And because this isn't an Iron Man, I don't need to be like super strict about, you know, when I promote. Like when you do an Iron Man, missing a promotion, like lacking a promotion on certain chapters can be kind of a death sentence. But with this game, like if we do a chapter and it turns out, man, I really need to promote a unit, we can always just run that on that chapter. So it's not the end of the world. So he will obviously still physic from where he is, which is fine. He just won't move to do it, which is good. It's a little bit unfortunate because I really want to get that kill for intra, but I think we'll be able to do that. Oh, too much issue. Do you double me even when I use this? Yikes. Yikes indeed. Should be okay though. We can figure out a kill. Not too much issue here. I don't want to like sit here and be too bogged down with like fighting every enemy like this, but if we're serious about Intra, and I am serious about Intra, then uh, we are promoting her now, I think, is a very good idea. Sure. It's weird to keep using the Horse Slayer like this, but it's her strongest weapon, so, you know, it is what it is. How much speed do you have when you use this? 13. Oh my god, literally nothing. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Um. Yeah, we can lure both these guys out if we do something like this. And I'm not in range, right? We should be really careful. I wish this was like one of the Tellys games where you can like plaster the ranges on the on the screen. Oh, these guys don't move. Oh. Cool. Oh, that would have actually been helpful before. Maybe going up here and rec recruiting uh, Tamaki was actually the best strategy. I was thinking that those guys moved, so I was really nervous about uh, moving Tamaki over there, or uh, a veil over there, but didn't realize that. That's okay, though. We made it work, obviously. Because if I go here with like a hand axe, 22, how much res do you have? So that's 15, 15 plus 11, adds probably too much. Let's just keep doing this slowly, I suppose. We can sword river this guy. And again, focusing all, laser focusing all of our experience on Subaru, I think is a very good idea. Because if I can get him promoted as quickly as possible, that would be very useful. Seems like if there's no reinforcements, we can kind of take our time here. And like I said, getting intro to level 11 or level 10 is... I mean, for all I know, that's not the way that recruits work in this game. Obviously, we'll find out. Um, but, you know, if we're going to use... Uh, I've forgotten her name. If we're going to use her, then we definitely need to, uh, to do that. The Axe Cav animation looks really cool. Obviously, there are no Axe Cavaliers in uh, in the GBA games, but they look it looks really cool. Most of the animations look really cool. Again, the only one that I think is a little funky is um, uh, Tatiana's. Tatiana's a little weird, but other than that, I think they're all pretty fantastic. Even the knights have unique animation, even though they're just there is knight animation in the <laughs> in the GBA games. Yeah, there's no like turn limit or anything, right? No, just rescue max. So I don't love that for obvious reasons. I do love that for obvious reasons. I should turn on this animation. Can you do 10 damage to this guy like we were doing before? 11. Probably rather use a Horse Slayer hit than a Silver Lance hit. I don't know what's better. Seems like this game loves effective damage weapons. 
<laughs> I like that you can't deal any damage anyways, and you missed. We love that. Okay, so let's start. This is why having a Dancer... Dancers are obviously amazing units in Fire Emblem games, and they're great for, like, everything, but one of the things that they're really spectacular for is training units, because in this situation, like, Intra gets to get two kills on this turn, as opposed to just one. If she hits, of course, but... And that's pretty fantastic. Just speeds up the process a little bit. I will say, Intra doesn't look super fantastic, but her HP is pretty darn good, and I like that. I like... I like big HP. And I think her base defense is also pretty solid. It's like seven or something. What do her growths look like? 40% defense. Yeah, they're pretty good. Her offensive stats are a little low, but I like the big luck growth. She's obviously, I think, very much modeled after the other recruit in Fire Emblem, Amelia. How much fucking, uh, <laughs> how much experience did I just get for that? <laughs> I feel like I get so much experience for healing. Um, yeah, and Amelia, obviously, also very similar unit. In fact, they might actually just have the same growths, to be honest. It's probably a little bit different, but that's very much what Amelia looks like. Um, who wants this kill? Uh, Barty is, like, kind of starting to fall behind in levels a little bit. We can give her a kill. I do like her. Also, I think she'll promote to, like, the samurai-looking dude, which is pretty, uh, pretty cool, so I like that as well. Oh, shit. Okay, let's finally do the support. Hey, Sujita, you got a minute? Am I, su uh, I suppose so. What's up? Not much. I just wanted to ask uh, how you were doing. It's been a while since we've spoken one-on-one. -on -one, uh, one-on-one -on -one with all that's uh, been happening. I've been well, thank you. It is true that we haven't had a one-on-one -on -one conversation in a while, although I think we've had enough of that over the years. That's true. Man, it's really been nine years, huh? Ten, actually. Ah, close enough. Still, I can't believe how loud you are. How loud you are now. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Don't tell me you're still, uh, you're still on about that. People grow and change regularly. It's only natural. Yeah, but you're like a completely different person. It's almost scary. I was so distant back then. I suppose it was because I was unhappy with myself. Unhappy? What do you mean? I'm, uh, I'm not so sure myself. I suppose I just sort of resigned myself to being average. Never achieving anything great. Being overlooked forever. What changed though? Was it Solom? No, I don't believe it was. I believe I started to change when uh, we started working as mercenaries. I had to rely on my own abilities. Hey, I didn't mean like that. I just mean that I couldn't let Sola, Mick, or Tobias do the talking. I needed to get us jobs. I needed to improve. I suppose that makes sense. Well, better get back to the fighting. We can't leave uh, all the work to Sal and Miles. <laughs> Miles, Miles is dead, Fidem. Uh, all right, we'll, uh, we'll talk later, Fidem. Yeah, for sure. I don't remember these two relationship. They might be brother and sister. They might also just be friends. Uh, I'll be honest, I do not remember. But I know they were both in the first part of the game. To be fair, Fidem, he, you know, he's down on himself, but he was, he was pretty good. He was not terrible. Although he did sort of fall off, but everyone fell off in the end of the first part of the game because the enemies just became so strong and we got so many good other units. It is kind of weird that a lot of these units have, like, lost stats, you know, since the first part of the game. Oh my god, yeah, he's a beast. Nice. I think so that's, he's level 12. Maybe I shouldn't get everyone to 20, I don't know. Actually, Fidem, you should... Yeah. Because I don't really want to go across this, because I'm going to be in the range of everybody. I guess I could go up and around. Yeah, I'll probably just do that, actually. It's probably fun. Sure. Actually, yeah, I'm dumb. I should definitely go up and around, because I still need to get the chest that's in front of us. So if I just go over there, I'm going to have to come back anyways. What is your weapon level now? Hey, we love that. Uh, here, if you want to come attack me, that's fine. I can heal you up a bit. Like I said, too, we can buy heals from the uh, the armory um, in our like convoy, so we don't have to worry about running out of heals or anything. I may as well just spam them. It seems like you get a shit ton of experience for healing as well, which is always nice. Let me just make sure. Yeah, we gotta be careful with that. <laughs> We're not in range, but we are very close. Well, she has the... 
the Philly Shield or whatever. The Philly Shield, yeah, so she can't even get effective against that. Um... I wouldn't mind just killing this guy. 25. And I do have two defense, which is enough. Okay, let's do this. It's a little bit worrisome putting a person with two defense in front of all those knights, but yeah, they, as we looked at before, they do not move. So unless the game has decided to lie to me, which <laughs> would not be very cool, I think we should be okay. What do Luna's uh, gross look like? Pretty good. We could also promote Luna at some point. Um, although, I usually promote magic users in order for them to start healing, so a magic user that can already heal seems maybe not the most useful thing in the world, but uh, if she has good stats, she might be okay. And like I said, we're getting a bunch of experience for healing, so it's not going to be like difficult to train her or anything. This guy has 16 health, by the way. <laughs> Why did that guy have 16 health? <laughs> Oh, he was just like a level one, I guess. I only got one experience for killing him. Okay. Oh, this guy's 19 health. Boom. Boom, indeed. Okay, good. I was slightly worried that I had done the math wrong there, but we didn't, which we love. Okay, looks so like everybody can get here, so if I can get him there, we can lure them all out this turn. I'll start healing you. I gotta remember that I have hammer and I have no clue what to use it on. We, I don't think we have anything like that powerful at the moment. Uh, okay, that should work. Yeah, these guys can't do any damage to me. You guys don't have armor slayers, right? No, just steel swords and, just, and iron lance. Okay. I can't get hit from there, right? Nobody has, like, randomly three range. Okay, now we're good. Another wing piercer. Okay, that's our second wing piercer. Ooh. Didn't see these guys. Um, okay, let me pick you up. Pick him up from school. Back up. Can you guys both get to the forest tile? Yes, perfect. We love that. And you guys don't have, like, um... Anything scary? That guy's a horse slayer. Okay, we don't... Now that I've thought about it, we don't love that as much. That guy's okay. We can fight that guy. We cannot fight the other guy. At least not for the moment. Uh... You can move up. Should be some more kill good kills for uh a recruit. I keep forgetting your name. Wow, Vela has so much speed he didn't get doubled by that guy. That's kind of crazy, actually. I think he's up to like nine speed. Wow, he didn't get doubled by that guy either. That's crazy. That is crazy. Really good damage. Obviously, one of these people is going to get physics, but that should be okay. Should be able to secure some nice kills for, uh, for our recruits. I don't think our recruit's going to be able to touch the uh, the knights, but I could probably give that to um, Avail. Uh, I don't think anybody's going to be able to like just barely wound him. That looks pretty good. I like that. Okay, let's do this. Level, are you nine or are you eight? I think you're eight, right? Yeah, so I still need two more levels. Let's whack this guy. And let me actually make sure Adam needs to be able to kill. Well, that guy's hurt. Yeah, I also have Tamaki. Yeah, it should be good. So you dance for um, you. What is your name again? Intra. Dance for Intra. Then Intra kills this guy. Hopefully. If she doesn't, it's not the end of the world, but she did. Okay, De solid level up. One of the great things about recruits is that because they have so much room to grow, you don't have to worry too much about their level ups. I don't know if Adam is really like a unit worth training 
So I don't know if I should be focusing on him. His stats, his offensive stats in particular are so, like, busted that he's useful at the moment. But yeah, I'm not sure. One of the weird things about this game is that they seem to give you a ton of units just, like, around level 10. So we have a lot of units that could honestly just promote right now. It's a good level. Um, but... I'm not sure if they should. Okay, so you can get there. You have that pesky horse slayer and axe reaver. Let me finish this guy with Subaru. Honestly, you could probably take the uh, the axe reaver, but I don't really, I don't really want to force him to do that. I think I'm gonna do it with Timorin. Levels... okay, level 11. Okay. I wonder if I double this guy. Oh, he's on a forest tile. The problem is, like, we have to be a little bit careful because I don't think I'm going to be able to get... Like, I don't think Intra is going to be able to deal any damage to these guys. Which means we have to rely on the other units that are still around here. But it, lo it looks like there should be enough. There's still a mercenary up there. I could potentially kill... So maybe we can still make it work. But I don't think she's going to be able to deal, like, any damage against these knights. Let me see. One. Oh, she's a, she's a shield piercer. Holy sh- You know what? I take back everything I just said. <laughs> Interest insane. I, I just completely forgot that she had that shield piercer. Okay, no, I should be able to, yeah, get her to ten. Easy peasy. Which we do absolutely love. Um, you just have an Iron Lance, that's perfect. I guess I can heal you first. Not that it's super important, but we want to keep healing with Luna. That works. I will say, um, if this was a normal GBA game, obviously you have to decide on... Or, like, the, the promotion items all are for different classes, and we are training a lot of knights. We have, um, we're gonna promote Intra, we have Avail, we have Subaru and Serenity, although Serenity I'm a little bit lukewarm on at the moment. But the point is, thankfully they use Master Seals in this game and not, um, just like generic promotion items. Or sorry, they do use generic promotion items, sorry, I'm thinking about, I'll just do this, whatever, if I miss it's okay. Um, but yeah, because they use Master Seals, it seems like we can just kind of promote whoever we want in whatever class we want. Which is nice, because again, I seem to have gravitated toward all the people <laughs> who would need a Knight's Crest. But that is okay. Um, yeah, if you want the kill, I mean, you did all the work for it, you may as well get it. A little resonance action. Okay, big level up here. There we go, okay. Given given their growths, that's the kind of level up that I expect. Yeah, that was good. That was a very good level up. We'd love to see that. Okay, so... Oh, I already got the chest. Let's try it. We heal. I only have eight heals left, by the way. <laughs> level for Tatiana. Good level up, holy crap. Does she have good growth? She does, yeah. Very cool. A very cool indeed. Um, okay. I don't really want to keep using the Sword Slayer if I don't have to. I guess we can just have the... We can start breaking this open. I don't want to completely break it open because I feel like once I do break it open, it might... The chapter might just end. Oh, it looks like I can talk to Max though, so I probably still have to do that. Okay. Again, I don't want the chapter to end because we still want to get intro to level 10 and we still want to get the, uh, the chest over there. I mean, this is fine, obviously. I could I could have equipped the Sword Reaver, but uh, Sword Slayer. But there's no real reason, I think, to spam it. I double this guy. Wow, Subaru is fast. Fast as fuck, boy. Okay, if I can get this kill for intro, this should be the last kill she needs for promotion. Um, and Avail gets a level, which is great. That's the first level he's gotten, actually, that he didn't get speed, funny enough. 
But he didn't Physic. It's weird, they must be in a Physic range. I'm surprised that he didn't Physic. Let me heal you. I can even Mend. How much experience does Mend give? I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to it's hard to figure that out. I can like I can double hit with the iron with uh, with the dance. That should work. That'd be funny if the if the recruit class worked differently and she just like she just didn't promote. Okay. As with most dancer level ups, that was perfectly fine. Okay, very nice. All right, I'm glad we got intro there. Okay, apparently recruits don't work the same. All right, never mind. <laughs> so how the hell do recruits work? Uh, with dreams of glory. Maybe I have to promote them. Uh, maybe they just double promote. I I'm not sure. All right, well. I guess that's good to know. It's certainly new information. I obviously was not aware of that. I'm assuming these guys probably also don't move. Yeah, seems like none of them do. Okay, destroy this guy. I think I could give the rest of the kills to Intra because she can kill them pretty effectively, but I think I want to just give them all to Subaru. Again, as long as Subaru is still getting good experience, like, I do want to focus on him. I'll say it's not a bad level up. Resistance is pretty amazing. Although I could give them to Intra. How all in on Intra am I? <laughs> I really shouldn't be. Maybe I will give him to Intra. She'll certainly get a lot more experience than he will. Yeah, we could do Intra. We can give him to Intra. Why not? If she didn't, obviously, if she didn't have the uh, the shield piercer or whatever it's called, I, uh, I wouldn't do it. But uh, you guys don't have range, right? No, sir. Okay, so just go around them. Actually, I only checked the one knight. That'd be funny if the other knight actually did move. Okay, yeah, that works. Well, effective damage in this game must be really high, or maybe the shield piercer like. Might is just really high because that's, that's a crazy difference between like one damage and like 15 times two, you know. Yeah, she actually has pretty good magic, heal is plenty. Okay, good level up, very solid. Like all, the, all the generals are just chilling in the middle, <laughs> in the middle of the fort there, as all their units die. Okay, let's do that. I think we can probably end the chapter this turn, to be honest. Let's get the last chest. Oh, you know, I'm just remembering I didn't steal the body ring. Well. I, I, you know what? I would just never remember to do that kind of thing. Like, that's just not something that, uh, that my uh, tiny pea brain can remember. I wanted to do it. Let's just say that's enough. Actually, um, so recently on our Fire Emblem 7 playthrough, uh, on the chapter where you recruit Merlinus, or you have to protect Merlinus, I should say, um, I sent Marcus over to get the house with gold in it, and then just didn't, just didn't actually send him, like, all the way. Um... Trying to think. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so even if this doesn't just fully end the chapter, I can still rescue Drop Sal out of here. Max, what the? Who in the world are you? Hush, keep your voice down or we'll be caught. Uh, I see now. Very well, lead the way, kid. Okay, that just ended the chapter. Max, thank goodness. When we heard you were captured, I was worried your big mouth would get you killed. Ah, Sajita, hello. Uh, how are you today? The sun's perfectly bright today. <laughs> You're so inconsiderate. The nerve of you to just ignore me. Ah, uh, you know me. I don't really know how to respond to people worrying over me. He looks really sad. Sprite looks really sad. <laughs> Regardless, though, thank you for rescue for the rescue. It's been a long time. How fair are you? I see you've lost your bandit speech. 
bandit speech. Is that you, Fidem? It certainly has been a while. Uh, I suppose I just grew out of my way of speech back then. Max, I have a question for you. I suppose it's only fair I answer. You did just rescue me. What were your forces doing all the way out here? The Demon King's forces should have, or shouldn't have been able to get here. Has something happened to the Lord of this land? Lord Viscom, I believe it was. Lord Viscom is a traitor. Oh, shit. What? A Lord of Klegoin, I still don't know how to pronounce that, a traitor. Max, Lord Viscom is a whole, is a noble warrior who was one of the first to send her troops. Surely one such as uh, she would never side with the demons. Unfortunately, it is true. I've seen it myself. Lord Ryan has wormed his way into Lord Viscom's uh, good graces. He's using her forces to aid the Demon King from right under her nose. What of that group of lords? I've heard that uh, they are running straight to the Demon King's domain. Surely they would come across this. Okay. Uh, we can't count on it. We don't know if the lords have chosen to take the shortest route. Sal, I suggest we head down to Lord Viscom's territory to show them the truth. Surely they would aid us. I suppose we should. We are already uh, supposed to pass through. Very well, let's be off. A wise decision. Let's be off then. That guy's just gone. Right behind you. So demons have used such trickery to sow discord among the lords of Klegoin. Cl uh, it appears our path will never be an easy one. What I wouldn't give to have a drink with us uh, and Starlight again. With us and Star... Who's Starlight? I feel the same. Unfortunately, we haven't seen Starlight in months. Oh, it must be a character we're going to see. I doubt she's around here anymore. Yeah, yeah, a man can dream, can't he? Commander! Ah, Vale, it's good to see you. It's good to see that you're alive. I feared the worst when I didn't see you in the cell. I apologize for not coming to save you sooner, sir. The demons were just too strong an opponent to handle. Don't trouble yourself over it. You did the right thing. You would have uh, just been killed if you were alone. I managed to swipe your bow back from the enemy. I hope it's not too damaged. Thank you, Avail. On the contrary, this bow looks good as new. The demons must have repaired it. How kind of them. <laughs> what the... Dope. Chapter... Oh, Guidance Chapter. Cool. Oh, I hope it's not too dark. I don't have my light out right now. It's probably fine. Although my webcam probably looks kind of dark, right? Whatever. We'll stop here for a moment. This is an abandoned fort that my troops used on the way here. It seems pretty peaceful around here. We should regardless... We should regardless still remain calm. Okay. We're at the foot of dragon territory regardless. Stop saying regardless! The dragons may have good relations with Lord Viscom, but we can never be sure with the news of her betrayal. It's almost eerily quiet. Not even any animals around. Yes, that's quite odd. Hold on. Everyone get inside. What? Now hold on a moment. Oh, I skipped that. My bad. Um, go. Do you do you want to die? Uh, he's right. Go. Max, what in blazes going on? Oh, this looks like a defense chapter. I'm nervous. Wyverns. Wyverns. Why would Wyverns be around here? They likely went hunting shortly after my group left here. I should have known. It was too damn quiet around here. This place was so lively before, too. Many people think wyverns are loud, large, terrifying creatures of raw power. But that's wrong. They're silent. They're usually scavengers when alone. What we're dealing with here, though, uh, it has to be a pack of them. These wyverns. They were one. They were once dragons, weren't they? Yeah. I'll be fine. These wyverns are no longer of stable mind. They're essentially wild animals. It's a sad thing to bear witness to. If we can, we should take some... Some out before our escape. Yes, it's uh, what they would have wanted. Dragons are very protective of each other because of this. They form close bonds, forge packs with humans, because they know their time is limited. They trust that their friends and loved ones will have the strength, have the strength to kill them when this happens. And this is what happens when those uh, friends can't do it. They're left to roam, crazed and wild. Some even still have a hint of their mind left. It's a cruel fate. I. Hmm? Could that be a survivor? No, that's a wyvern. One that's still... Max, what is it? You suddenly went pale. Everyone stay here, I'll be back. Max, wait! Oh. Alright, bye Max. Uh, now what in blazes was that? Sujita, do you think... Uh, yes, Max is trying to save one of them. He's what? That fool, he wants to save them? They're gone already. Not quite. But I thought that uh, once dragons became wyverns, that was it, no? It's very limited, but there's a recent... There's been a recent de development. Bands imbued with magic have been created that can, well... Uh, at least hold off their madness for a while. Hold it off. Uh, now there's something. Uh, they're raid. <laughs> sorry, they're rare as of now, extraordinarily so. However, I do remember Max. I do remember Max saying he got his hands on one. Why would he need one? Well, Max is dragon for all those from all those years back. Uh, but wouldn't he have? Um, wouldn't he have given it to his dragon then? 
uh, he couldn't uh, make it in time. Couldn't make it in time. I can't read right now. Uh, these kinds of bands are rare, as, as I said. Max had to travel far to get his hands on one. And by then, his friend was far too gone. Yeah. Well, all we can do now is to try and get Max back up. Right, enough dawdling. If you are able to save your friend, we must move quickly. We'll reach Max. Get in and get out. I'm ready. Oh, she is promoting. Oh, it's been quite uh, a while since I've worked this hard, but I'm not done yet. I have even further to go. That's right. I'm a real soldier now. I will keep working hard until I surpass even Maria. Oh, okay, cool. Well, that's what I wanted. Uh, I can be a soldier or a lance knight. Probably a lance knight is the way to go. I have a hard time believing that soldier is the good approach here. Well, that's cool. So normally in Sacred Stones, once you get to 10, they promote, which works in this game as well, but they like cap. Like you can't go beyond 10 for skill. Holy shit. Cool. Oh my God. What the hell is Max doing all the way down there? Uh, He's got really good growth. Talk to Marius. Okay. Um, so how strong are these guys? They don't look too bad. 19 attack, only 5 crit. That's sharp fangs, though. There's also, I think there's tail as well. Yeah, great tail. Ooh, a talisman. Um. Okay, so in order to finish, I have to talk to Saul or Sal. Interesting. Um, okay. I think I'm actually going to end this part here. Um, I know it's only one chapter. I meant to do two, but... I'm, uh, I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of tired right now, and uh, and I feel like I'm not going to play this chapter very well. So, again, I know it's short. I'm going to try to do these a lot more consistently, and hopefully a lot longer um, than just one chapter per video. So, if you enjoyed, be on the lookout for that. Obviously, as I said before, we are doing our Fire Emblem 7 playthrough, but um, yeah, we'll keep going uh, with this next time. So, I appreciate everybody for watching, um, and I will see you next time.